Everton Phoenix Football Club go five points clear at the top of the A-League men's ladder. The thing is, is that we've always taken this, it's an underdog mindset, but it's more to do with the fact that everyone wrote us off that, you know, we had something to prove. Can that fan base really start to believe now? We want to win the league, that's, you know, that's a, that's a given, but it was more about, you know, putting some respect into the shirt. <laughs> Like I'm surprised that we are first. It, it's I'm not I'm not completely shocked. Don't turn around. <laughs> I didn't think we'll be in this position. I knew that the boys would be very competitive, and I felt like the the group was very strong at the core. Realistically, if, if I can tell you some of the targets I had in the back of my head at the beginning of the season, that we've gone over those targets already, even in points. Bravo. <laughs> Got a good balance throughout the team, uh, good culture, very positive, and obviously Chiefy's had a massive impact on that too. Chiefy's a very, very nice man. He's been amazing for the group, very positive, but also he's come in with some fresh ideas that have, you know, kept the players stimulated. I feel like uh, that I'm, I'm fairly well grounded as a as a person in general. It's a thing that we did on the pro license in terms of uh, leadership and one of the big things that I ticked off was this idea of authenticity. I think it's very important. I think players need to understand that you're telling the truth. Heath. Yeah. Need a favour, man. Thanks, bro. Pleasure. He kind of like talks to us on a, on a human, like a personal level as well. So when I see that ball come through, bang, you're looking for that furthest guy straight away. Good, good, let's go. For us younger players, he gives us the ability to kind of be free and then also kind of express what our capabilities are like. My philosophy of coaching continuously changes. I feel like every year I always, I, I like to evolve. It ultimately comes down to putting people first and, and I think that, that gets the best out of them. But my footballing ideas and tactics do change quite a bit. Payne beat was that player and he pulled him out yeah. and then you made the run. Yeah. It, was, it was exactly what I wanted but done differently. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I can just see he's always got uh, ideas tinkering in his head, you know, what he's trying to fix or change the slightest thing to, to help our team. Try has been time, turning away from Uscock and setting up a great chance for two. And they take it, Costa Barbarousas. Well, Costa's been great. I can rely on him. He's leading by action. Back out with Rufa. He looks back post for the giant frame of Kelly Hill. It's a great ball across, and this time they have their goal. What that's done is also create an environment with the younger players that they see, all right, you can't rest, you need to work all the time. So for me, that, that's leadership. The most important thing about Costa and the thing that impresses everyone the most is, you know, yeah, he's won a lot, he's scored a lot of goals and he's been around for so long, but he wants to win more. And that's a champion right there. It's very simple for me, you know, obviously I've been in the game for a while, but eating well, sleeping well, you know, recovering well, uh, it's not rocket science. Easy, easy, easy. Open up, open up. Good, you got time, you got time, you got time. Well done, boys. Very good. There is a lot of talent in New Zealand, a lot of young boys. With all young players coming through, I think being exposed to this environment has to be incremental. They need some exposure first, you know, see how they react, and then once they react, maybe withdraw them a little bit, give them a little bit more, and AP's no different. I do feel coming up from the academy and that type of family environment there, and then moving up into the first team, it's, it's still the same vibe. That shows how well the club has turned in terms of their direction and what they want to do. They're promoting a lot of young players, and he's one of them, and look, uh, look how he's doing. I think it's amazing. And here they come, the Wellington Phoenix coming out with the Melbourne victory on their debut game, and uh, the emotion, look at that, the emotion going through the team, a lot of pride. I was at under 17 level up until then you had to go overseas to have any chance of being a professional footballer so them coming along gave me a massive opportunity. Hit it over the top, and the Phoenix level. Pretty much everything's changed since I started here and um, for the better yeah. Probably will be a full circle moment to be honest to win something where I started, where I grew up, where I was born.
and that's sort of experience comes in. We got to not let emotion sort of get to you because probably 10 years ago I'd be pretty excited at this point. Well, how about that? But I just know how quickly, if you're not on it, football can change. Ball, old, and here comes Costa. It's over the line. I mean, it's one of those things where it's it's historic. Like the club has never won the title before, so to be part of the history books would be something special. The reality is is that the only thing that we can control as a group is every individual performance that we play as a team. If I say to the group that, look, you know, the end goal now is to win the comp and they're going to be looking way too far ahead and I don't think that's healthy. Rufa rifles it at goal! Alex Rufa, the captain! Obviously players have come and gone that have all wanted to win, but we haven't done that here. So it's definitely something that we want to change as a club and as players. I'd love nothing more to have a home grand final here and to, to just give the people what they deserve here. Obviously the club and the staff and the players, we all want that and we're all striving to achieve that. So you know, touch wood that it, uh, it happens.